Spencer County native Linda Yearby is being recognized for the impact she's made on women in sports. People can officially travel to Midway, Indiana to see Linda Yearby road. I would assume City Davis has more from Midway grade school basketball alum. Midway grade school is home to Linda Yearby in the 1950s. Yerby's passion for basketball, but lack of female opportunities, led her to try out for the boys' team. She made the team, and almost 70 years later, her accomplishments and impact birthed the unveiling of Linda Yerby Road. It was actually a phone call from Faith Fairhope on September 27, which happened to be Linda's birthday, as well as mine. And um, it was something that I had not been asked uh, as being a commissioner, but um, I, it didn't hurt to see if we could get the other commissioners to do. Her time on the Midway men's basketball team was 22 years before Title IX was signed, a law that bans sex-based discrimination in sports. Since then, Yerby coached and fought for the rights of an all-black women's team called the New York Harlem Chicks and played professionally all over the world for the Texas Cowgirls and Arkansas Lassies. Yerby traveled in from Florida for the big day and also attended a reception with friends, community members, and teammates. It's brought her back home, and that's what I love. I think that that was missing, and she didn't maybe even realize how much. When she left in 1954 after graduation, she never lived here again. So to her, you know, it's just been so exciting to reconnect. The basketball player says she's shocked by what her determination has inspired over the years. She says she hopes it's a lesson for every woman. Look how much they are. The NBA has improved. Pick out the game, you want to play, you beat the tournament. Okay, the game. See, I played all these games, you know, because that was uh, having asthma. And I was determined that I was going to play basketball. In Midway, Indiana, Sydney Davis, Eyewitness News.